So the original idea came from somebody named uh, Hans Moravac in like the 50s or something like that, which was later expounded on by uh, Nick Bostrom. And sort of the formal, uh, the one thing I want to clarify is Nick didn't necessarily say that the simulation is likely. He proposed three choices and said one of these must be true and it's, you know, uh, we have no information to, to say which one is more likely, right? So what he had said was, uh, I'm, I'm doing the truncated version here, is uh, we can assume that there will be uh, no future human civilization or post-human civilization that can make a simulation like this. It's impossible. It's a choice one. Choice two is that it is possible, but for whatever reason, the society, no significant portion of such societies are interested in doing so, or they think it's immoral, or they don't do it. Or the other choice is then, we're most, for the reasons that were discussed earlier, we're most likely in the simulation. So I just wanted to kind of set the stage there, and we can discuss more. And I guess I'll pitch it over to Louis. Hi, my name is Louis Arana. I am an artificial intelligence engineer, and uh, I've been a computer programmer for about 25 years. I'm, I'm older than I look. Uh, I've worked for NBC, Sci-Fi Channel, and uh, worked on TV shows like Battlestar Galactica and Ghost Hunters. So I also think I come with some with some inside knowledge on on this topic. Um, I am open-minded but skeptical uh, about simulation theory. I think that from my understanding of both of the major interpretations of quantum mechanics, that it is highly unlikely uh, that, that such a thing is possible. Um, I'll quickly explain that. Uh, there are two kind of schools of thought on the, on, in quantum mechanics. I won't get too technical here. Um, basically, many worlds theory, maybe some of you have heard of that. Um, the simulation hypothesis is based on the fact that there is one universe, and therefore, if it's possible to simulate, then there are billions to one odds that you are in the simulation. But I would argue that um, if you if you believe in the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, that there are actually infinite universes, and then universes that can simulate are a subset of those, and because that subset is not infinite, each simulation is infinitely far away from each other on average, and that you are very, very nearly infinitely unlikely to be in a universe that is a simulated universe. Um, if you don't believe in many worlds theory, and many physicists don't, it's kind of split down the middle, there's the Copenhagen interpretation, and then, um, if you believe there is one universe and you understand Copenhagen quantum mechanics, then that infers that the universe is non-deterministic and non-predictable. And therefore, if you started a simulation, it would very quickly, noise would be generated from those unpredictable elements and I wouldn't be able to, to program in a Gray Scott or a Keith Camito because by the time the 14 billion years that expired, the universe would have radically branched off into a different direction, and so it becomes very, very difficult, um, if not impossible, to, to simulate the real universe. Um, and those are kind of the two major interpretations of quantum mechanics, so I would be surprised. Uh, on the other hand, I'm, I'm open-minded about it. Um, Craig's absolutely right. Um, our subjective experience uh, is, yeah, that's right. According to these same theories of quantum mechanics, like the world doesn't exist behind my head, and you're the only person in the universe, and they're all kind of, you know, mind-blowing implications. So I don't, I don't rule anything out. Um, we are just as infinitely unlikely to be sitting on this stage in this universe as we are to be in a simulation, and therefore, you know, I, I, I think it is plausible if unlikely. So, you know, quantum physics is, is super important to uh, this concept of reality because it is the most recent thing that is, is radically changing how we think about reality. The way it, what Lewis mentioned about not the world not existing behind your head is, is kind of one of the things that I've always talked about when, when discussing simulation theory, which is basically this idea that quantum particles can actually exist at two separate places in the universe at the exact same time. All, all places, actually. All places. <laughs> they, can, they can exist at all places at the same time. In all states. In all states. And they only take a definite state when they are viewed. 